Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. This is my first live. Just waiting to see who's going to come in. Today we're going to be um, showing you how to set up a video premiere. Can't even see who's coming in, who's coming. Hey, Queen ASMR. Hey, Queen ASMR. Hey, Queen ASMR. How are you doing tonight? Guys, please thumbs up the live as you come in. A eating with cake cotton. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I have was looking on my phone. How are you guys doing tonight? We have five people in the house. Some people hiding. Come on out and say hello. Hey, promo. <laughs> Guys, please thumbs up the live as you come in, please. I appreciate it a lot. Hey, Spicy. I know, right? K Cotton, I, I didn't expect to come live tonight. I was like, I'm going to try this out. I hope you guys are having a good night. I, I made a video today, which is really interesting. Um which is pizza and poem. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say nothing else about that. Well, thank you guys for thumbsing up the live. Thank you, Promo. You're awesome. Everybody in here is awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, creative. Oh, wow. I appreciate all you guys coming to see me. I know, right? Uh, creative. I, I, I'm I, like, I'm still shocked that I went live. I had the hardest time setting up this live because this is the first time. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do, right? Um, <clears throat> A lot of people have been asking how to set up a, like a premiere or schedule a video on your phone so i got my phone right here but i'll wait until i see a few more people come in the house <clears throat> i still got this cold but it's it's kind of under control now you guys are awesome for being here you know so how how is frank doing michelle how is frank how is everybody doing Yes, Spicy, I'm glad you're feeling better. So all you guys spending your weekend, you're just hanging out with Adrian. I'll see how long I can go in this live because, you know, this is the first time. So maybe I'll just do an hour. And then as I get more comfortable. I didn't cook today creative. I um I did a food review on um, a product that I bought from Aldi. Oh, no. Is that anybody else buffering? So, yeah, that video will be coming out on Monday. 
which is an interesting video because there is this legendary um, lady who writes poems um, and folk and all those stuff in Jamaica called Louise Bennett Coverly. So I did uh, I did a, what do you call it? Hey, Zion, welcome, welcome, welcome. Frank is in his man care. <laughs> yeah, so um, that video is interesting. It was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I was just like, you know what? Um, you got to do what you got to do. So, um, yeah, I did a video on that. So I did a poem. So I'm calling it pizza and poem. I may do it again, depending on how successful um, that video is, but I had fun doing it. So... I'm happy. Hey, Coco Empire, how are you? I know my lighting ain't that great. I'm going to have to figure this whole situation out, but thank you guys for joining me. Hey, Sweet Pea. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone to the live. I'll see how long I can hang. But um, I think Cook and Comedy messaged me and was asking me how to set up Wado's premiere. I know Shella said she didn't know how to do it either. Well, sh she knew how to do it, but not from her phone. But <clears throat> It's pretty simple though. I just figured it out myself. <clears throat> um. Hey, Santina love. Hey, hey, how is, how is the weather over there in Canada? Guys, as you come in, please thumbs up the live for me, please. <laughs> I think Sweet Pea have love to share for everyone, K Cotton. I think she love you as much as she love everyone else. How is work, Coco Empire? Mm-mm. Yeah, now now I see how it feels when you guys go live and you guys um stay there for two hours. Cause I've only been here on for like eight minutes. And I'm like, mm, how long can I hang? <laughs> she only love you, K Cotton. Okay, I understand. <laughs> oh no, Santina love. Too much snow. I don't like snow. We had snow yesterday. And I was like, hmm, yeah, I can't deal with that snow. It's not for me. I can do it, Zion. Oh, wow. I hope I can. I remember last night when we were in your live, uh, we were there and we were like, hmm, you should stay longer. <laughs> Yeah, this live is going to definitely be something different for me because I can talk and I can talk and talk and talk, but it's like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, whew. You're here to learn promo. All right, you know what? Let's, let's do this. I guess whoever don't catch it can catch a replay um, and see how we do it. And I don't know if my phone gonna show it clearly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe not. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna show it clearly. But you ain't doing no more um night lives, K Cotton. Why not? I think the night lives are better because more people is up. Last night I was in um Liz eats live and she was up until like two something. 
<laughs> no, no snow in Jamaica creative. It's always hot in Jamaica. Always hot in Jamaica. The weather is just like Florida. Yeah, once it get the temperature drops a little bit. Hey, crackhead Willie. Yeah, once the temperature drops to like 65, everybody starts freezing and they draw for their jackets. <laughs> it get crazy at nighttime, K Cotton. Oh wow. Well, mine is a little bit early. No, Sentina is over there in Canada, creative. Yep. All right. So let me do this. So if you want to set up like a premiere using your phone, you just want to go to your Chrome browser and you sign in. Once you sign in, then you're going to go to the desktop version. And once you go to the desktop version, then you're going to go to your um, creator studio. And then once you go to your creator studio, Thank you, Sweet P. Jose K, every time you make it up. <laughs> oh, um, Crackhead Willie, thank you, but you can't use the word um, subscribed in um, the chat. Can someone um, take that out for me, please? Thank you, Crackhead Willie. I'll definitely come and check you out. My phone is moving slow. No, that's fine. Um, you know, we are learning. So I figured you didn't know. Hey, hot sauce junkie. I didn't see you coming, but I see everybody say hello. Hello. How are you? I got the best moderators. They'll definitely say hello to everybody for me who I miss. <laughs> this phone is acting up. But. Hey, Miss Bradley, how are you? Welcome, mom. <laughs> I know you ain't going to stay here long because you got stuff to do. But I thank you guys all for... Hey, Rissa, how are you? How are you doing, Rissa? Are you eating anything crazy today, Rissa? Because <laughs> I know you're over there with It's a Snack or Put It Back doing all those crazy challenges. Yeah, my phone acting up. <laughs> But yeah, so once you um you go on your Chrome browser and you um this is how you set up a premiere. You're gonna go on your Chrome browser, nothing crazy, okay. And um you sign into your YouTube, then you go to your create creator studio. Once you go to your creator studio, you know you have the uploading arrow, you click on that, and then you click on your file that you're trying to upload. Once you do that, it's going to condense the file. Once you condense the file and you go in, um, the link going to be in the title. So you got to take that out and put in your title and then put in your description and your tags and all those stuff. Once that's done, the uploading process is done and the processing is done, then it's going to take you to the other screen where you can add your end screens and your... Um, your cards. 
once you pass that, then you go over to um, your visibility and then you can set your time zone and you can click and set up your premiere. So the, the important thing of using your phone to set up your videos is that you definitely got to use the Chrome browser and then you got to um, select request the desktop site. Once you do that, you don't have any problems. What's popping? Nothing much is popping. You know your son got a cold, so I got water to stay hydrated. And we have some wonderful people here in the chat. These are all great people. Oh, yes, I watched Spice's um, challenge. She did a good job with that. It was hilarious. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing crazy at Hot Sauce Junkie, Tim. Well, you know, I'm when I say crazy, I mean like all those snakes and all those stuff that people be eating. You welcome spicy. I, I really enjoyed that video. <laughs> Coco, welcome, welcome, Coco. How are you doing tonight? How are you guys doing, doing, doing? Oh, hot peppers. I, I'm from Jamaica, and I can't do those hot peppers at all. I can't. <clears throat> I'm doing well, Coco. Yeah, I can't do those hot peppers. My mom, especially, she can't do those. Once she starts, <laughs> when she starts taking anything hot, nothing going on, Rissa. I'm just here hanging out on a Saturday night. I got the most boring life ever, but you know, Adrian is always in this YouTube streets. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come on tonight and show my face and say hello, because you know I only post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so in between those times, I'll probably jump on and do like a quick live. Hey, Mac the Knife from New York. New York in the building. I don't want no New York weather, though. We lives. I <laughs> yeah, I remember last night you were asking, Adrian, when are you going live? I'm like, I don't know. But I was just like, you know, when I see um, Liz Eats went live last night for the first time, I was like, you know what, Adrian, you got to build up that confidence and get on the live. Uh, Wisconsin in the building. Just your personality. <laughs> I can, I can. Um, Eat a few hot things, but not too, too hot. Yep. Yeah, not too, too hot. But as I said, I have a new video coming out Monday, which is an interesting video. I'm doing a product review. I don't normally don't do product review, but this one was a really interesting find in Aldi. And it was delicious, I can say that. And then I did something out of my comfort zone where I did a poem, which is in all in Patwa. So, and a lot of people may not know, but um, <clears throat> welcome back, Santina Love. Welcome back, Coco Empire. But yes, yeah, so, so Patwa is the native language of Jamaica. We speak English. English is our language, but we speak Patwa. So um, there's this famous um, lady named Louise Bennett Coverly. She passed away a few years ago, but she um, writes all her skits, all her poems, and all those stuff in um, Patwa. So it's a spoken language, but it's not written, so it's kind of hard to read. So you find that in that video, I had a few challenges reading it, but you know, it went well. It was a great video. So I hope everyone enjoys it when it comes out. 
And if that video does well, then I'll start doing what I've called pizza and poem. So I'll start eating pizza and do a poem from Louise Bennett Coverley. But the title of that um, poem was No Little Twang. So if you Google that, you'll see it comes up. So how is the weather over there, Zion and Creative? Because I know you guys have the nice, nice weather. Everybody in the chat, welcome, welcome. If I miss anyone, I'm sorry. Um, can you please thumbs up the live if you're just coming in? It's beautiful. I need to visit soon. Yeah, I need to get out of West Virginia for a moment and just, you know, get out there and see. Hey, Franklin Southside. How are you? Welcome, welcome. What happened to my man, Baby Sneed? Who is that? I don't know Baby Sneed. Or maybe you're talking to someone else. Oh, yeah, creative. It, it was fun. It was a fun um poem. It was very interesting, though. I was like, I need to brush up on my Patois reading skills. But as I said, it's not a written language, so... It's kind of hard to read it, but, you know, we can talk it. I live over here in West Virginia. Cool, cool West Virginia. <laughs> Yo, um, everybody always asks me, how do you end up over there in West Virginia? I said, you know, no, they said, why you choose West Virginia? And I say West Virginia chose me because my dad, he works over here. And then when I came from Jamaica... Back in 2013, um, obviously, wherever your parent is at, you have to come. I left and went to Florida for a short time, and then I came back. Now I'm ready to go again. So I'm looking for the next city to go to. Oh, no, Spicy. I, you guys in Georgia, once it snows a little bit, you say it's a lot of snow. You got to go to, you. Um, yeah, New Jersey, definitely. Over here, we haven't had that much snow since the year start. Shout out to Franklin's friend, Coop. Thank you, Zion. Yeah, mothers have a mothers always have a hard job. They always have something to do. I mean, dads should have the same amount of job, but most dads are deadbeat, you know. So shout out to all the good dads out there. Shout out to all the wonderful moms out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, moms have a hard job. I tell my mom all the time, I say, I, I I, don't know how she does it, but, you know, she does a good job. She got five of us, five kids. I'm like, I don't know how you do it, but, you know, most moms are very dedicated. When the dads are gone, the moms are still there, so... You always got to cherish your mothers. I mean, when you find a good father, you got to cherish them too because most of them are never there. Oh, yes, creative. I, I, I know that for sure. A woman's job is never done. Always something to do. But the, the thing that I find is that um, because there's so many um, worthless men out there, most of the time women don't know how to appreciate when they find a good man you know <laughs> but the few that really uh, find them and appreciate them they always uh, make a great team and you know they always say um every man need a strong woman behind them to be successful so everybody need a team you know 
that's the cool thing about YouTube. Once you find those great support system, um, you definitely find those people, which is great. And I just want to say thank you guys for being here. <laughs> you know, lots of great men are creative. Well, I mean, you know, you will know them and then you introduce them to your friends and then your friends um, don't find them good because they're looking for something specific. I mean, I can go on and on and on about that because I feel like everybody have a type. So some people like... Um, some people like bad boys. Some people like people who are more soft and submissive. Some people like different things. So <clears throat> something that might be good for you or good for me is not good for someone else, you know? So in Jamaica, they have a saying, they say everybody have their own sticker bush, which means, you know, everybody have their own person out there. I see someone else coming. Hey, egg kid, how are you? <laughs> Oh my. But yeah. You know, once if you just come in, please uh thumbs up the live for me. Yeah. There is a few good fathers out there, far and wide. My dad is a good dad. So I always show him appreciation. I can't say that about a lot of people that I, I've been around or seen. You're not seeing me. It's your internet, Miss Cavell. <laughs> Can everyone else see me? Because my mom says she can't see me. Oh, yes, Risa. It's always good when you find those good dads out there. Yeah. Oh, you see me creative. I like your part of creative. <laughs> I wish I could hear you saying that, though. Yeah, I think my mom's internet is just not working properly. She's going to have to get some good internet down there in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was in dining, dining with Zion's live last week, and she was asking, what have we done for self lately? And that's a question that I feel like a lot of us struggle with. Hey, Coco. Yeah. So, I mean, me personally, I'm just like, once I do the basic things, I'm happy. If I could take a vacation or two per year. <laughs> That's what I do for myself, but, you know. Hey, Island Girl Can Cook, how are you? How are you? My fellow Jamaican um, sister just walked in the building. Can you guys please thumbs up the live if you just walked in? <laughs> you said some of them understand you. Okay. I'm doing well, Alan girls. How are you? I'm just chilling, chilling, chilling. Okay, creative. I see you. Walk one. All right. Creative is learning a lot of patwa. Where do you learn your patwa from, creative? Who in the chat can tell me what Wagwan means? Other than you, Alan girl, because I know you know what it means. Yeah, let's do a little bit of um, Patwa um, translation. Mm. <coughs> You don't know Zion. <laughs> Me good. How about you? How about you?
Creative got it. What's going on? Wa Guan. Once you walk on the island in Jamaica, the first thing they greet you with is Wa Guan. Oh, yes, yeah, Santina, love. I forget that you're in here. So I know you know what Wa Guan mean. Me good. What about you? Yes, Coco, what's going on? What's happening? What's popping? Wa Guan. And then my mom just said, um, me good, how about you? Which means, I'm good, how are you? Or how about you? Um, oh, yes, Alan, girl, you definitely say that every video. Wa Guan. Yes, I think creative been studying these Patwa words. Who can tell me what Medea mean? Me, Dea. Me, Dea. Medea. So someone comes in and they said, Wagwan. The response is Medea. Yes, creative. I'm there. I'm here. Medea. And you have a, quite often somebody say, Wagwan. And you say, Nothing Nagwan. Nothing Nagwan. So if someone asks you, say, Wagwan, which means what's going on? And then you say, Nothing Nagwan. What does Nothing Nagwan mean? Nothing going on. Yes, nothing going on. <laughs> oh, my. Creative. I'm going to have fun when I finally come out there and meet up with you. And we can talk some patois on a video. That would be good. We can title that video teaching my American friend how to speak patois. That's why I'm saying island girls. Go to goodie. <laughs> Creative is on top of it. But yeah, in Jamaica, they always come up with, with, with slangs that are seasonal. Um, there's always something going on. They say the craziest things. Oh, yes. It cre um, Patois is like, is, is one of those things where you're like, you have fun with it. It's very interesting when you hear someone who is not from Jamaica or don't know nobody who is Jamaica and say Patois words. It's, it's always funny. We just crack up. But, you know, TR sometimes get into it and he start talking patois. And I think that's why creative um, pick up on some of those patois words. And I don't know if you know anybody else who speak patois. Yes, Zion, we, got, we, we definitely going to get you on this patois train. Because we want to make sure that when uh, we're talking in patois, you understand. Because you have a lot of people um, who gets uncomfortable when they are around several Jamaicans who are starting to talk Patwa. Um, they think that you're talking about them. But the cool thing about Patwa is that you can understand some of the words because it's like broken English. <laughs> oh, now I understand why you know so much about them, the Patwa creative. Thank you, Island girls. Yeah, you Jamaican woman always cleaning, always doing something. I don't know. The work never stop, eh? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, the Baddie twins. But they've been in America for a good little while now, but they still have the patois though. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I see you, Zion.
Oh, Coco, yeah. It's, it's, it's. Most of the time, a lot of them can't explain themselves, though. Because you have some Jamaicans who, um, some Jamaicans who cannot transform to their surroundings. So as soon as you hear it, you know they're from Jamaica because they can never speak standard English. Are you so nice? Bubble, bubble like a chicken grave. <laughs> Oh yes, um, there's an artist who in Jamaica who will sing a song, say "Aya so nice, Aya so nice," which means everything nice right over here. Oh, creative! I understand Creole and Jamaican sounds are similar. Yeah. Oh yes, Isla girls. Yes, so I, I don't think they don't want to change, but they just can't. Some of them, you know, like the ghetto people, them. Them just can't come out of them getaways, you know? Like, let me hear his true grass. That's why. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, some people chat too much. <laughs> but yeah, Jamaicans always have a lot of sayings. Like, my mom, my mom's favorite saying is tree, grow concrete tree, but tree not all as tree. Which essentially means that you might be taller than the person. But um, you won't be their age, so you have to show respect. You know, tree grow concrete tree, but tree not all as tree. Yep. So Santina Love, what did you eat today? What did you eat today? Because you're always eating some good food over there. Oh yeah, what sweet nanny goat? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. What sweet nanny goat I got running belly? Yeah, you know, some people they, they like to have a lot of fun and they laugh and laugh and laugh and then tomorrow now they 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 um they reap the bad, the bad juju from what they've been enjoying, you know? But Island Girls, that's, you, you, you know the song, What Sweet Nanny Go Tag Around in Belly. Oh, yeah, that song, they go, Fire their must must steal him think I could. <laughs> hey, Island girls, you remember all of them saying they don't say sometimes I can't remember them at all. Oh yeah, they say when 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 trouble lick your pity shot fit you. <laughs> yeah, I love that one too. Which, which essentially means that um when you get into trouble, you can you will fight to fit in a in a child's clothes. Oh, I, I love to cook. But um, sometimes I just can't be bothered. Cooking is fun, um, but cooking for myself all the time, I'm like, mm, I just can't do it. Hey, Carter Seats, how are you? Welcome to the live. <laughs> I love that song, Carter Seats. Oh, yes, I love girl. That, yeah, that's my favorite one. But yeah, I, the funny thing about cooking is that if I have um, visitors, I definitely like to cook because I like to entertain people. But cooking for myself, I rarely do that. Now that I'm filming videos, it's kind of easier for me to cook. And then I had a restaurant for two years here in West Virginia. So with that one, I start gaining more confidence in cooking all the time. And I feel more comfortable doing it, but. Oh, yes, Zai, you need to bring back those recipes. Definitely. I know every day, thank you, Wawa. <laughs> oh, yes, you know what, uh, Alan Girls, which one is good too? Is the one that I, I was saying this to my brother yesterday because we were talking about, like, you know, 
people constantly doing something the same way all the time and think they're going to get the same results. And I was like, um, I know the same day, leaf got water, but I'm rotten. So I was explaining to him that, you know, not because you do this the same way all the time, that means you're going to get the same result, you know? But yeah, back to the cooking now. Yeah, I, I enjoy cooking, but to eat from yourself all the time, you're like, hmm. So, like when my mom is here visiting or I go to Jamaica and visit her, she always have to cook for me. But once she gets here, I have to cook all the time. And I don't like cooking all the time. That's why I don't post videos every day because I just can't do it. If it's a job, then I'll enjoy it day in, day out because I enjoy cooking. So I always say if I'm getting paid to cook or I'm entertaining, then I enjoy cooking. But normally I don't. But I've been cooking since I was 12. And now I'm 27. So that's 15 years ago I started cooking. Yes, guys. Thank you. Thumbs up the live. But yes, I've been cooking since I was 12. And then my mom, she's not a traditional teacher um, when it comes to cooking, she would sit in the living room and let you stay in the kitchen by yourself. And she would tell you what to do. And then after it's done, then that's when she would taste it and tell you, oh, you didn't do this right. Like cooking rice in Jamaica, we don't measure nothing. We just go by eyeball. Like we just look and the more we do it, the better we get at it. So um, she would be teaching me how to cook rice. And I'll be making rice and peas and I'll probably put too much coconut milk. And then the rice come out like porridge. That's what I was talking about in one of my videos. I was like, don't use a spoon stir your rice because we don't want no porridge rice. Or sometimes I'll forget the salt. And she'll be like, what are you doing? But, you know, that's how I learned to cook. And then I watch, I used to work at a five-star resort as a food runner. So with that... Thank you, Carter Zietz. I'm proud of me too, cause I'm like I don't I I I I just thought about it today. I was like I'm gonna go live, and I'm here now. Oh Zion, that burger was so good. Um, I had that on my menu at the restaurant, and it was like one of the most popular sellers. Yeah, that burger was so popular. But I I always try to um change things up. So when I had it on the restaurant and it was Swiss cheese, I used provolone for that. Oh, yes, creative. No measurement. Sprinkle a little bit. Of, like, um, saying that now, I'm like, you can never ask a Jamaican for um, directions. If you ever go to Jamaica, never ask a Jamaican for direction because they ain't going to give you the directions, right? They're going to tell you, go around the corner, they so take a turn. Then when you go down the road, you see one shop, you pass the shop. So it's like you constantly have to ask somebody about directions because they definitely ain't giving you the right direction. Oh yes, Coco. I, 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 um, the cool thing about when um the restaurant was opening up, my mom was here to help me. So um, yeah. But now that I'm doing like recipes, I have to try and um measure stuff so that if someone want to try the recipe, um, they'll get it as close as it is. Oh yes, Zan, that's definitely the best way to cook. Hey, honey mama, how are you? Welcome to the live. But yeah, so that's why if you go to 10 different Jamaican restaurants, you're going to have the food tasting differently. All right, spicy. Yeah, so it's like when I'm cooking and I know that probably... A Jamaican. I'm doing well, honey mama. That's why sometimes in my videos you'll hear I say, um, don't come for me with my recipe because some people in Jamaica, they think they're the best cooks and everybody cook differently. 
when my mom was teaching me how to cook, um, she told me, she said, I do this this way and this person do it that way. So she gave me the recipe that most people do it, but then she have her own way of doing it. So she gave me both. So I had their decision to make of doing it her way or doing it like how everybody else do it. And I choose her way because I realized that it's the best way to do it. Like even when I was just learning how to cook curry chicken, I really didn't enjoy cooking curry chicken because I didn't get the method done correctly. Um, so I was like, mm, I'm not making curry chicken anymore. And she um, she went back over the recipe again. And from that day on, now I can make curry chicken. I'm like the master of it. So, you know, sometimes you got to take a little correction and um, own the craft and just work at it. Yeah, mama is always best for real creative. You didn't film a video, Santina. You be eating up oxtails and um, stew peas. Oh, yeah, stew peas is so good with pig's tail. I'm going to have to get some pig's tail and make a recipe of that. Oh, yes, I went to um, Walmart and Aldi's, and I did like a grocery vlog haul kind of situation, which that video will be coming out soon. And I got some chicken foot. So I'll be making some curry chicken foot on a video soon. The Baddie Twins did stew chicken foot. I'm going to be making curry chicken foot. Um, I'm not a big fan of chicken foot, but guess what? I'm on YouTube, so I got to do what I got to do, you know? <laughs> I told my sister, I said, um, whenever I make it, I'll call her and give her a plate because she likes chicken foot and she calls them steppers. Yeah, when we're making um, stew peas, we use um, pickled pig's tail. Mm -hmm. Hey, Keely, how are you? Welcome, welcome. If you didn't thumbs up the live, please thumbs up the live. Oh, this live thing is fun, but I don't know how often I can do it because I, I, I have a limited attention span. I don't know. Hey, food for the soul. Welcome, welcome to the live. Yeah, we have some awesome people here in the chat. Thank you guys for coming by. But yes, I, as I said, I don't like chicken feet, but I'll be having a recipe up soon. I see Carter's Eats did that um, batty twin. Um, still chicken foot with the pumpkin rice. So she enjoyed that chicken foot. I used to eat chicken foot a lot in Jamaica, but since I've been in America, I'm like, I'm over it. Unless I cook it in um, soup, then I like it because... We have a red bean soup, which we call red peas soup, which is made with pig's tail and chicken foot and a whole bunch of um, ground provisions and stuff. Oh, yeah, it is a lot of gristle. But if you cook it nice and tender, I'm going to cook it in a pressure cooker. So it's going to be like fall off the bone. So it's not that bad. It's, it's nice and tender, so you don't have to fight to chew it when I cook it. But yeah, I, I just get tired of eating like it's very fatty. So I'm like, mm -mm 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 -mm. I prefer to get some chicken or some turkey neck or something like that. But yeah, chicken is like a highly consumed meat in Jamaica. And I feel like they consume all of the chicken in Jamaica because we eat chicken neck, we eat chicken back, we eat the chicken, we eat chicken foot. So yeah, chicken is... um. Very, very popular in Jamaica. But what we love, love in Jamaica is um, curry goat and oxtail. Those are like the two most popular things that people love, but they don't cook it all the time. Oh, yes. In Jamaica, they, they use all the chicken. And especially when you go to like school and kids don't have a lot of money, they'll make jerk chicken back and jerk chicken neck. 
because it's inexpensive. Yeah, I, I need to do an oxtail recipe too. I was supposed to do it this week, but I got caught up. So I did something else. But um, I think by next Friday, I should drop an oxtail recipe. I'm going to do curry the oxtail though, because I love curry. And I can make um, brown stew oxtail, but I don't have any brown in right now. So I'm going to do curry oxtail. Yes, I, I was talking to Zion last night and she said she never had goat and she wasn't sure if she wanted to have goat. But yeah, curry goat is the best. I love curry goat. If I go to a Jamaican restaurant, that's definitely what I'll get. I like oxtails too, but it's not my favorite. Hey, TT Party of Six. You got some broad in for me, Lisa? Yeah, because I see you have a whole bottle of it. That stuff um hardens especially in the cold here. So I typically don't buy a lot of browning because I don't cook a lot of stewed stuff. If I do make something that's stew, my mom normally teach me how to brown it in the pot and just create a nice color and flavor. Because the thing about Jamaica is that when we're eating, we eat with our eyes. So they have to brown everything. If the meat is um doesn't have any color, nobody in Jamaica will eat it. Zion, I'm telling you, you, you got to try the goat. The goat is good. It is good. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, food for the soul, I'm not messing with that Jamaican um, patties. That, that recipe is so complicated. I um, tried to make it once before to get the color, to get the flakiness. It's, it's, it's just complicated. That's why we have so many beef patty shops in Jamaica. But if you catch that, um, that grocery haul vlog that I'm going to put out, you'll see a recommendation for a really good um, Jamaican beef patty that you can find in Walmart, which is really good. But one thing, it's in the frozen section, and you don't want to microwave it. A lot of people like quick and easy, and they like to microwave things, but put it in the oven. So if you catch that video, you'll definitely see that. Tell her again, honey mama. Yeah, curry goat is so good, Zion. But it all depends on who makes it, though. I have a recipe on the channel of me eating curry goat with fried chicken. Because another thing is that when you go to a Jamaican restaurant and you order fried chicken, typically they don't have no sauce for it. They serve it with rice and vegetable and all those stuff. So people would go there and they say, give me fried chicken with curry goat gravy. So curry goat gravy and oxtail gravy are so popular that if someone had a fried chicken, they want the oxtail or the curry goat gravy for their rice. You like you like um goat, Lisa? Yeah, goat is good. Um, my brother always tell people he said um goat. The only way to eat goat is curry. But then I think he changed his mind when we went to um, Dominican Republic, and they had a stew goat there, which was really really good. Because everywhere I go, if there's goat, I gotta get it. So, yeah, and it's healthy. Goat is one of the most healthy meats um, you can consume. Oh, yes, Cardizy. Yeah, definitely from the Jamaican spot. With, uh, it has to have a little kick, though. You got to have that scotch bunny pepper in there. Although that's dangerous. I, in my last video with the corned beef and cabbage, that was habaneros, and it, it, it almost took me out. No, 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 creative. No, 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 no. Dominic, well, maybe you're talking about peas, peas, but Jamaicans have the best rice and peas, which is cooked with red beans, but we have the best rice and peas. I'll, I'll say that. I'll go on a limb and say that. Yeah, we, we make delicious rice and peas. Um, I've made rice and peas... I haven't cooked that in a long while, it's, but it's traditional for Sunday and like Christmas and Easter, whenever it's a special look. Hey, big, big B message. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I 
Oh, yes, Island Girls. That's what I'm saying. Fried chicken. You have to have the oxtail gravy or the curry goat gravy. I mean, I want it for real. But yeah, so yeah, the rice and peas. So we started with coconut milk. We cooked the peas with garlic. And um, we put in our coconut milk and our scallion and thyme and pepper and all those stuff and just flavor it out. A Unbox Warehouse. We just talking about food and we just having a good time over here. If you just walked in and you haven't thumbs up the live yet, please thumbs up the live. But yeah, so you love food. I, I think we all in here love food because um, the thing that they always say in Jamaica, they say food is the staff of life. So, yep. You need food to survive. What? No, 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 Island Girls. You come up here and try um mash up people, Eddie. Yeah, and yeah, um, rice and peas and jerk chicken. Nice can done. I know, right? Yeah, the jerk chicken have a nice and spicy, man. I mean, no, you have, I mean, no, you have some hot pepper panda, panda jerk chicken there. See them where. Need to cook. I don't know. Maybe maybe when I move out of West Virginia, then I'll cook live. I I I, I don't know. That video gonna be super super long because Jamaican food it takes a lot of prep. Thank you, Carter's Eats. Yeah, and I, I met someone the other day who said they don't like jerk chicken, and I'm like, really? But the flavors are very um complex i can understand why because you have cinnamon and nutmeg and garlic and ginger so yeah okay carter thank you hey green pastures how are you welcome welcome if you guys haven't thumbs up the live please thumbs up the live <laughs> okay alan girl yeah, Carter's Eats does a good job cooking live, but Adrian is just like, mm, it's, it's too much for me to cook live. But I'll make it happen someday. No, Zaron, why? <laughs> you open up yourself, man, Alan, girls. Why? You know, so on the Jamaicans, you know, love on the pepper. I, I normally cook with enough pepper, so I don't have to add any more. But yeah, most Jamaicans love that hot pepper on their food. Like my dad, he have to have hot sauce on deck all the time. I miss what you said, Santina. You have a surprise. Um, for tomorrow is many. Oh yeah, tomorrow is Sunday, but I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking tomorrow. I should be cooking some rice and peas and like stew pork or something, but I ain't cooking. I'm too lazy. I had to cook yesterday because I had some friends that I had to make jerk chicken and rice and peas and cabbage and stuff for. Oh yes, Keely, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I, I, I'm like, I'm still here and I'm like, I'm almost at an hour. At first when I started, it was like eight minutes in and I was like, I don't know if I can even do an hour and all the great people in here motivate me to stay on. So I think I'm going to uh, stick around for another hour and get that two hours in and then I'll make sure I have a nice um, try because I, I, I struggle to set up this live because this is the first time. Oh, yes, Big B um, message. Um, I'm going to share an oxtail recipe soon. But if you watch my um, turkey neck video, we prepare oxtail very similar to how we prepare that turkey neck. Um, I always tell people, I say, once you can cook, <coughs> once you can cook one Jamaican dish, you typically can cook 
Um, anything else? Okay, Carter Z. Thank you, Green Pastors. <laughs> yeah, once you can cook one Jamaican dish, you pretty much can cook anything because they're very similar in preparation. Um, if you're cooking chicken, obviously chicken doesn't take long to cook, so you can add in your peppers and onion and garlic and all those stuff from start to finish. But if you're making like oxtails, curry goat, um, stew beef or pork, then those take longer. So you wanna um, leave those fresh peppers and onion and garlic until you're ready to simmer it. Oh yes, Alan girls. Um, melanated curves, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't thumbs up the live, please thumbs up the live. But yeah, oxtails are so good. Uh, my mom, she makes the best oxtails. And then um, she make them so tender that you can chew the bone. And you can make sure you get all the nice juices out of the bone too. Oh, yes. In Jamaica, in Jamaica, they stew everything. I think the reason why they stew everything in Jamaica, though, is because um, it creates a lot of flavor. Those are like cheaper cuts of meat and stuff like that. Oh yes, go check out Alan Girl's um, oxtail video and check it out, make the recipe. Cause I know probably she have stewed oxtail over there. I'm gonna be doing curry oxtail next week. And a cool thing about cooking is that um, if I'm cooking something new that I've never cooked, then I look up several recipe and then I take what I want to take from each one of those recipes. So if you check out Island Girl's recipe, you may see something that you love about it. Then you might check out someone else's recipe. You'll see something else. And you can definitely combine all of them together and create something that's going to be soothing to you, you know? <clears throat> yes, Keely, you need to stop. You need to quit tripping. I finally did it. I didn't know I was going to come live today. But, you know, creative, don't do... Uh, well, uh, yeah, say say that creative. I, I won't say nothing. Because <laughs> then I think if I say something differently, then I'm going to discourage her. But, yeah, it's definitely easier than you think. But you got to definitely have the stamina to stay. <laughs> to stay, stay with here. Yes, Island Girls, I think everybody makes the best oxtail, you know? But, yeah, we Jamaicans, I think Jamaicans make the best oxtail because I, I have seen a lot of recipes of um, a lot of people from other parts of the world that make oxtail and they boil them. I don't like boiled oxtail. Yeah, it definitely gets easier um, as it goes on for Real Creative. Thank you, Carter Zeeds, for being here with me. We enjoy coming over there, seeing you in the daytime. I don't know if you're going to your bed soon. Because we know you got church tomorrow. You got those kids and your mother, your wife, all those stuff. Oh, yeah, we're going to hold you accountable, Keely. We're going to come over there and be like, what's going on? We're going to spam your, your comments section and say, what's going on, Keely? <laughs> Oh yeah, Big B um message. She definitely have a, a great growing channel over there. Um I enjoy the content. Yes, Keely, we're gonna hold you to that. We're gonna hold you to it. That's what I'm saying, Santina Love. Jamaicans make the best rice and peas. But I think... Hello, you Sun Duck TV. How are you? Welcome, welcome. You thumbs up the live. Thank you.
Oh, Keely, only two emojis, please. But yeah, so it's the live is fun. You get to learn a little bit more about that person and stuff. I realized last night Zion went, what? How long did you stay on live last night, Zion? Four hours? I was like, whew. I, now I'm on this live and I'm like, I don't know how Zion did that four hours. But maybe I can steal um, Zion's um, idea and do the emoji game. No, that's fine, Keely. I know you didn't know. Yeah, four hours. Mm. I was trying to figure out those music today, Zion, but those music, I, I still haven't figured it out. It was like I'm trying to stop the music and it would never stop until it finished playing. I was like, I was like I'm not even going to mess with that. Yes, um, Big B message. Thank you. Those typos. Oh, no, no creative. I'm going to stay for two hours. I, I, we've been going for an hour and six minutes. So I still got a whole 54 minutes to an hour. So maybe we should um, play the emoji game if you guys want to do it. So just um, put a thumbs up if you want to do it. Oh, yeah. Zion stayed on for four hours, Carter Z. Four hours. Thank you, Island Girls. We appreciate you um, for stopping by. No, I did do that, Zion, but um, when it popped up, I was trying to skip through all the messages, I mean, the songs, and it wouldn't stop playing. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why... Um, they wouldn't stop playing. Oh, yeah, Zion had some good support because um, Mukbang and things came in late. And she was like, I just got here. Where are you going? So Zion had to stay on. Oh, yeah, that music was definitely interesting. I think we only found one good music on there. And that was a reggae beat. Reggae, reggae. Oh, yeah, creative. I remember you were there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crystal, what, what, what's going on, cuz? What's going on? Well, Island Girls, what type of watch time are you talking about? I heard um, promo STK will say you can get up to like 40 hours of watch time depending on how long you stay on. But I don't know. You think so? I, well, you know, I think... Um, I'm very persistent and I try to um, make things better each time. So I think, yeah, definitely as time goes by, I'll be a pro and I'll find something to talk about at all times. Oh, yes, um, Carter Z. Zion went live three times yesterday. She went, she went live in the park and she went live at home. But I think um, she did that black screen one time. And the live wanted to go back to black screen because she had a, um, the screen jam. And then she had to go off and come back on. And then she had her phone dying. I was there for it all. Oh, yes, um, Big B. Um, I like your um, videos. And um, I love how humble you are because I... I you didn't know me from anywhere, and I just walked over on your channel, and I was like, great video. Um, the food looks good, but maybe you need to set the food down and um, 
kind of get it set up where people can constantly see it. And you were very receptive. You didn't think that I was rude for saying that. So I appreciate that. But, you know, a lot of people, um, they can take constructive criticism. Like I, I even see from myself that when I just started making videos, the videos has improved immensely. Because when I just started, I was holding the food in my hand like this. I didn't know to set it down and set it up properly and all those stuff. Yes, Zion, they didn't want you to be great. Um, I, You know, I downloaded that um, Streamlabs stuff to go live on it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use my laptop. The visual is not going to be as great. But what I've realized is that all you guys who have used the Streamlab probably before you hit your 1K um, subscribers. Um, still hasn't been able to go live on your phone. And I've seen people who have gone live on their laptops prior to hitting 1K um, getting that feature quicker. So I was like, maybe I should just use my laptop and see if it makes a difference. Yes, Big B, um, that's all we can do. We got to constantly um, just try to improve on what we're doing. Yeah, because I remember um, Carter Zito was telling me that she watched two of my earlier videos. And I was like, you should have watched the later videos. And she was like, I want to see where you're coming from to where you at now. So I was like, all right, I understand that part. Okay, thank you, Creative. You're going to go back live tomorrow, Zion? I'll definitely be there. Or you're saying I should do this again tomorrow? Because I think if I'm going to go back live, it's probably going to be one day next week. Okay, Island Girls, I understand. But I think the longer you are, and if someone stays in there longer, then it um, definitely goes up, yeah. But I understand. That ping is my mom. I'm like a mama's boy. She think I'm still her youngest child, but I'm the second one. <coughs> oh, no, Zion, not tomorrow. I'm not going tomorrow. Hey, cooking comedy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I... I, I was trying to um show how to do the um the premiere um using my phone with the um Chrome browser, but my f internet wasn't trying to make me be great, so I did kind of um talk about it briefly in the initial parts of the video. So if you're just coming in, please thumbs up the live, and then you probably can catch the replay. But this is my first live, so I was wondering how do you go ahead and post it after you finish? So if anybody can drop that down in the comments for me so I can make sure that I don't mess it up. Oh, yeah, um, Big B. I've been on here for almost... Five months now, and I'm still learning. I feel like we all learn every single day something new. Okay, Zion, thank you. So you said once I hit end stream, it should post automatically. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cook and comedy. Um, Zion is definitely a great um family member. And um if you realize a lot of these streams, if you're trying to connect with someone, they just use a heart. So if you can retract that comment and then repost it if you want to. Oh, you guys would definitely do well on a live. I feel like if I had someone else here with me, it would be um a lot better. But I think um, i probably going to download one of those um, secondary apps, even though I just said I wasn't going to do it. 
and maybe I can um, add someone to one of these lives because there are so many great people out there who we can chat it up and have great conversation like Zion and all those other people. Okay, Zion, because I realize a lot of people um now they're saying just put a heart because um if you use anything else with it, it's considered spam, but I'm not sure. Oh, Santina Love, I feel like you're a natural at this. Every time I come over to your channel and I listen to you talking, um, I realize that you you kind of exude that confidence. So I feel like um you'll do good at your lives it i feel like me personally once i'm doing something for the first time i get nervous about it but once i start doing it over and over and over again then i um i get more confident in what i'm doing just like when i just started making videos i was nervous to sit in front of the camera now i can be myself so We got 12 people in the house. Wow. Guys, thank you for the support. So what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Who have videos coming out tomorrow? Who have videos coming out on Monday? As you guys know, I'm starting to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some of them will come out as premieres, and some of them will just come out regular. But I like doing premieres because it's um it's very personal because you get to talk to the people in the chat. And I feel like a lot of people don't realize where the time goes. Oh, yeah. Zion will definitely help you. Zion, when are you dropping another video? Thank you, cuz, Chris. When are you dropping another video, Zion? That last premiere that you did was so good. I was like, why is this video so long? Well, I'm not I'm not talking about the um the seaweed, because that was a super, super short video. And you did a good job with that. You just took that um seaweed like a champ. I'm talking about that um B Loves video with the um old school versus new school. I love that cooking video. It was so good. <laughs> And then um, Cook and Comedy, they did a video today um, making shark, which I think I've had shark before, but I'm not sure. But that video was was really, really good. Um, they do a very good job with those videos. Thank you, Zion. Yeah, I try, I try, I try. Okay, we'll be praying for you, um, Big B. For me? <clears throat> But yeah, the family members will come in due time. Um, as I said, you just gotta go out there, you gotta network, and you gotta make sure that you're finding um real people because there's a lot of fake people in this YouTube streets. Um, so you gotta find those real people. Like you see, this is my first live, and I think the least people I've had in here all night was probably nine. Um, so I have great support over here. I've found some wonderful people. Um, I just hit 700 subscribers yesterday and, you know, with this thing, it's like today you hit 700 and then within a minute you fall on the 700. And I was like, I'm not even celebrating 700 until I'm way over 700. I'm like 700 and, mm, I can't remember. I think 713 right now. And I'm still not celebrating 700 until I'm like probably at 750 because I know how it is. People love you and then tomorrow they take back their love. But, you know, I have some great people. 
But um, you're doing a good job because you're over here in my live. And once you support me, I show you back support. So when you go live, I'll definitely be there to see your lives. See, I had Carter Zitz in here today. Um, I know she's busy and she found the time to stop in because I'm always in her live. We have Keely in here. Keely's new. We met over at Carter Zitz. Keely's here. Keely show real genuine support. Dining with Zion, Creative Creole, Cake Cotton, Promo STK, Island Girls. So as time go by, you build connections and you constantly show support to people. They'll definitely prioritize you. No matter what they have going on, they'll be there to support you. So yeah, you just got to build genuine connections. I know, right, Zion? I know, I know you guys. It's funny because I met Zion, what? How long have we met Zion? Hey, Therese, awaiting vlogs. How are you? I hope I said that right. Creative Creole is still here, Medea. My mom just came back in up top. Yeah, that's a new saying in Jamaica, up top. Bubble up for the up top boss. That, it's, it's, it's a new saying. Yeah, um, a laptop would be great because that way, if you have a laptop, you can definitely um, support um, other people by running their playlists and stuff like that. Like right now, I'm running mukbang and things because she's close um, to being monetized. So I'm running her playlist, but I had to pause it because I'm on the live now. Oh, yes, we're definitely going to um, do that, Keely. We're going to constantly um, grow in. Once you have the right attitude and you build genuine connections, that's that's very important, genuine connection. Welcome, Tanner Woods. How are you? <coughs> See, I just met Tanner Woods um, about two days ago over at Promo STK, and she's been showing me constant um, support. Um, so these are great connections that I'm building. Yes, you just need to read it right without jumbling a word. Charisse awaiting vlogs. Is that it? I'm from Jamaica, so we pronounce everything differently, like the name. Brittany, that you say in America, we say Brittany in Jamaica. So in Jamaica, we pronounce everything differently. We cut our um, H's. Uh, we don't say heat. We say eat. So, you know. <laughs> um, cook and comedy. No, 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 no. What, what type of have to get the confidence to do a live? You guys, I feel like you guys have so much confidence on those videos. Um, it's not different for, um, from filming a video to being live. I just think the only difference with live is that you have to have people who are interacting in the comments or you have to have a topic that you want to talk about and then the live will flow. Like right now, tonight, I didn't have a topic and we have great people in the chat who are interactive and we always find something to be talking about. So... Confidence, um, especially when you have two people doing it, you can bounce ideas off of each other. I always say running a one-man show is always harder than um, than having more than one person. Oh, yes, big, um, big B. That's all we got to do. <coughs> I don't think there's a limit, Santino, though. Oh, Zion said 10 hours. Mm, I wouldn't be doing 10 hours. But I think people come on lives and then they um try different times of the day to see which time works best for them. I feel like for me... Nights work better because I don't sleep until late. Um, I'll wake up late and I'll sleep late.
Oh, uh, <laughs> well, if you're from Trinidad, you're from the Caribbean. So I feel like all of us have um, similar accents. So I think you, um, you're definitely not going to do as bad as a lot of other people who try to speak Jamaica, Jamaican Pato. Oh, so you can only do 10 hours within one day. So you can do probably five, five two-hour lives or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, don't say what it is because you um that the, the element of surprise um definitely boosts people trying to come over and see what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, Isla Girls, that's true, because I think tonight we kind of did exactly that. Princess. Is there a princess in the live? Well, if there's a princess in the live and I miss you, I'm sorry. Welcome, princess. But, yeah, do you guys want to play the emoji game? I asked earlier, but nobody said yes or no. Or we can just keep talking. <coughs> you always come up with some good topics, though, Zion. Always. Let's play. Even though I'm not, pre even though I'm not pre prepared for that, um, Zion. So I won't keep any scores, but we'll just make it fun. Cooking comedy. I don't think Green Pastures is taking um, family members. That's Carter's Eats. So if you want to connect, you can go over to Carter's Eats. Um, she definitely have great um, live streams during the daytime from eleven to one. And um, she does a good, a good job. She definitely shows everyone genuine support. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely were that. I'm telling you, it's so windy outside here. She was earlier, but I don't think she's in here now cooking comedy. But you can definitely go over and um, check out Carter's Eats. Everybody in here will tell you about Carter's Eats. She um, genuine. And she's a lot of fun. She has some very catchy songs. Thank you, Santina, love. All right, well, let's play the the um, emoji game. We'll just drop some emojis in the chat. Or we can go back to... Um, different patwa sayings if you guys want to do that too let's see let's test who know their patwa yeah carter's eats definitely full of energy motivation every day she um she reads uh, a scripture for all the people who are busy just going throughout um, their day and didn't get the chance to read the Bible. So she'll do a scripture. But yeah, when you go over there, um, you connect with great people. Our favorite saying is comment, 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 and stick. So meaning you make the executive decision. She always said, get it, get it, get it, get it. I can't even say it. She does such a good job. Um saying that 
Thank you, Island Girls. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. And, you know, we Jamaicans, we always try to support each other. Although we don't have most, most of the Jamaican clan, they don't, you know. Guys, say good night to Island Girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're at, it's funny because I'm here um, watching the time. We've been on here for an hour and 30 minutes. Can you believe it? And um, last night when Zion was watching the time, everybody was like, Zion, stop watching this time. Stop watching the time. But this is my first live. So, <clears throat> you know, I got to watch the time because I'm like, I think I'm running out of gas. <laughs> oh yes yes cooking comedy i have an aki and sawfish recipe on the channel i think that's one of my best videos yet um it is so good i made aki and sawfish with fried dumpling and fried green plantain that video i had so much fun doing it um because especially i got those aki straight from jamaica and as you know, when you're traveling through the airport, you can travel with like um, fresh fruits or vegetables. So I had to freeze them. So I put a little bit of oil on them and freeze them. And when I came, I just untied them um, in the bottom of the fridge and then I cook it up. Some people in my family were surprised how well that Aki and Sawfish recipe turned out that they watch it more than once. So, yeah, that's a good recipe over there. So you can check it out. Snow and ice rain. I don't want that. Mm -mm. We have wind over here. And I'm like, whew. Especially with, with me trying to get rid of this cold. I just can't do this cold weather. Yo, Sun Dog TV. Yes. Um, but a lot of people, I don't know if you know about Aki and Saltfish, but Aki is um the national fruit of Jamaica. So Aki and saltfish is the national dish of Jamaica. Oh, yeah, that ice rain is like horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. That's why I don't drive. I don't have a license. I don't drive because I'm scared of the road. Oh, yeah. Island Girls all is a genuine um, connection. So connect with Island Girls because she going to be there to support you. Everybody know Island Girls in this YouTube stream. <laughs> well, not quite yet. We're all still growing. Well, yep. I think Zion trying to get a few more babies right now. Zion, you want more babies? <laughs> She's like, kiss those babies for me. I think Zion love kids. I, I like kids too, but I have a little nephew, and he's just like a ball of energy. I spoke to him today, and he was like, just talk. He's three. He's learning how to talk, and he just go on and on. I was talking to him on the phone. And he was like talking so fast. I was like, you got to slow down because nobody will understand you. Oh, Lisa is still up in the building. <laughs> Zion said I'm good. <laughs> yeah, Zion definitely have what they call a sticker child in Jamaica, like a handbag. Her son won't leave her alone. <laughs> okay, Lisa. No, not the <laughs> Yeah, in Jamaica they classify them as handbag, you know? 
if you have those kids that they they don't they, they don't want to leave their mama's side. They're like they're a handbag. But yeah, Jamaica, in Jamaica they create the craziest um saying for everything. So Santina Love, how long you been over there in Canada? Have you been there all your life or you just moved there recently? Oh yes, Big B. Um, you'll find that a lot of times um, the people who are closest to you do not um support you. But as I said, you definitely once you make those connections here, and you're genuine with those connections, which I can see that you're a genuine person. You believe in God and all those things. So um, you definitely um will make go far but yeah those people like i have my family is huge i have family that support me and watch my videos and stuff but if all of them would watch the videos i would be much further than i am today but you know um they say sometimes um you have blood relatives who are not even your relatives really it's those people who are your friends who become your, your your family, you know? You need me to get my license. So um, the funny story is when I just got here back in 2013, I went and did the test um, once and I failed the test. I was like, I ain't going back to do that test. And then I feel like me being a passenger... In a car, I get so nervous and I'm shaking and I'm like, oh, 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 don't go too close to that truck or whatever. And I feel like if I was the driver, I would probably meet into so much accident. You see those um, people who are so timid on the road? You don't need no more of those people out there. Yeah, everybody tell me that island girls. They're like, once you start doing it, it's, it's easier. I think um, Big B probably need like um, someone to mentor her into kind of getting everything set up. Um, do, are you on Instagram, Big B? I'm on Instagram at um, fusion underscore foodgram. And you can also check with Dining with Zion and a few other people in here, Dale. Um, Dale. Um, help you out because I think um, I think she needs like someone to help her to set up that because a lot of people oh um Charisse awaiting vlogs welcome back I was there talking and forget to welcome you back That's what everybody say. Everybody say driving is not hard, but I feel like with driving, you need a lot of focus. And I'm a focused person, yes, but I don't know. Maybe someday, but as for right now, I'm 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 on the fence of like that's why I need to move to the city where I can take Ubers and I <laughs> but yeah, um, I feel like I definitely need to um, learn to drive and get on the road so I don't have to be dependent because I don't like to be dependent on anybody. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do until um, they say you have to creep before you walk in Jamaica. Right, Island girls? So I'm creeping right now. I'll be walking. So. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, 
up in the building. Lisa, thank you so much for hanging in there. I know you got a lot going on. And thank you to everyone who is here. Hey, Veggie Pals, how are you? I need to come over there and um see a few more videos. I think I need to start doing um a few vegan recipes and kind of expand my eating habits, you know? I was um, in Aldi's and they have so much um great um vegan um prepackaged stuff, which I don't like prepackaged stuff, so maybe I should learn how to make vegan recipes that are um homemade. I make like um curried potatoes with like vegetables and stuff, but I eat it, I enjoy it, but it's not something that I could do all the time. Oh, hey, Amy, how are you? Well, I see that you're doing well. Thank you for coming in. Well, thank you, thank you. <coughs> oh, yes. So I'm still creeping, so I have two more steps to go, um, Island Girls. So I'm going to have to learn to stand. <laughs> oh, man. All right, take care. I'll see you soon. You're always going live, so I'll stop in and we'll chat it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Big B, um, definitely. Definitely. You got again, Yin Comedias Imas. Welcome, welcome, Como Estan Todos. Bendiciones. I, I, I don't understand Spanish. So if you know any English, I can say hola. I know a few Spanish words, but I never can have a conversation in Spanish. Um, but if you didn't thumbs up the live, please thumbs up the live for me. It means a lot. Yes, Zion, come in with that motivation. Yeah, they said the Lord never take us this far to leave us. So, yeah, he always find a way, you know. But some people don't believe in God, so I don't want to take it religious. But, um, you know. Yeah, definitely. The Lord going to take you through stuff because he know that you can... um. You can handle it. It won't give you more than you can bear, as I would say. I think um, it, that book just gets me because um, I have to read a whole book to do my citizenship um, last year. And I read the book, I listened to the audio, um, and it's a hundred questions that you got to study for your citizenship. And um, then they only ask you 10 questions and you got to get six right. Once you get those six right and you pass all the other things, then um, you pass the test. But... Um, that was easy, but the driving book is like too much. It's like you're reading, 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 reading. I feel like if you never had any experience driving um, before, then it's kind of hard. But now that I've become a, a professional passenger, um, I feel like I would do a lot better on the test now. So maybe I thank you guys for all the motivation and the words of encouragement. I may, I may have to not let 2020 end and I don't get a driver's license. Oh, yes, Zion, definitely, definitely. You see, um, 
when we all come into each other's lives, we always learn something. Because I remember when I was in your live the other day, and um, you were talking about the importance of writing things down and stuff like that. And I now realize that, you know, you got to write things down. Because I, I have the mentality of not writing things down because I think that I remember everything. But I kind of remember most things um, out of my head. Like, there's things that happened to me several years ago that I still remember. Por favor, demand seven chocolate por favor. Well, I see chocolate. I understand that. Um, por favor mean please. Um, but I don't understand nothing else. <laughs> um. So, yeah, like even when I was uh, um, <coughs> when I was a server, I never write orders down if I have um, up to four people and they're only ordering one course. I never write things down. Oh, not since you were nine. Oh, yeah. So you're you're kind of full Canadian. I'm just kidding. You're still dragging. <laughs> oh, yes, Zion. That's so true. Yes, Big B. We uh we gotta expand um expand our or 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 channels. As um Zion always say, you can't be um just that person who is known for just one thing. You always got to um, expand your brand because we're all creating brands here. Um, so we definitely want to not be known as a one trick pony. So we got to um, constantly try to improve and do different things to elevate ourselves. Um, you're welcome. I think that means the nada. Yin Kamidas Imas, thank you for coming by. But yeah, Zion always talk about blocking your blessings. <laughs> Zion, where's our friend? I wish he was over here to give us a laugh, dog sickle. you're still here you having thumbs up the live please thumbs up the live we're at 29 likes let's get it to like 30 <laughs> you and these emojis Zion. you you crap me up oh not johnny <laughs> oh th that was hilarious though Zion. we have to admit it that was hilarious. I was cracking up. Johnny definitely um came and gave us a laugh. <laughs> he sure did. I was I, like literally last night. I was laughing all night long. I was like, "Oh goodness!" Johnny came in with a dog sickle, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm the only one who makes it, and it's like taxes. Not every everybody don't want to want it, but they have to have one." <laughs> so we were um, last night. I was in dining with Zion's life, and th this guy walked in. Everybody thought he was a troll. And once we thought he was gone, he was still there. So um, other people came in. And, um, oh, um, Sharice, you can't say visited in um, the chat. So could you um, please retract um, that message? You just put a heart beside their name or something. Or if one of my mother. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so... Um, Yes, yeah, so <laughs> he came in and he was like, have you ever had a dog sickle? 
Oh yeah, Santina Love, you're here. So I want to know if you ever had a dog sickle. Because he said it's a it's a Canadian um uh food that's made with um hot dog, syrup, and tree bark. <laughs> Topped with syrup. So we were asking, we we're like, so and it's frozen. That was just hilarious. <laughs> Oh, goodness. But yeah, you know, um, back to genuine support. Uh, quite often you'll see people come on like your Instagram, if you have Instagram and they realize that you're a small growing YouTuber. And they'll come to you and they're like, um, let's do sub for sub. Um, as our great friend Carter's he's always say, we don't do sub for sub. We're um, people who are um, serious about our content and we're trying to build families and brands. So you you need to try and refrain from doing like sub for sub because um, I don't do that. I try to build genuine connections with all the great people. Like, oh, why... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that chicken that he says the best way to eat is overnight because all that um yeah that 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 took me out too because I was like nobody ain't eating that. Yeah, he was he was hilarious though. I hope he comes back to your live tomorrow when you go live because I'll be there. But I think um one of these times when you're doing that um live. Uh, we need to come up with a topic, and then we can chat it up. You know what's funny, though, Zion? Last night, because I um, um Yin Comedas, we only um use two emojis in the chat. Um, so yeah, I was over. I was ready to go to my bed, almost like three a.m. Zion, and guess who I went and saw on a live chatting it up. Mukbang and things at almost 3 a.m. in the morning. I was like, Mukbang and things. I thought you were gone to your bed. She's like, no, I stay up this late. She was over there on the portals live, chatting it up on the panel. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. Are you guys hearing me? I think it's saying unable to connect to chat. Please try again. Oh, I wasn't saying anything in the chat. Are you guys hearing me? Give me a thumbs up if you're hearing me. I think it's saying I'm offline. Can you guys hear me? Can anyone hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay, because it, it, I don't know what's going on, but it was telling me I was unable um, to connect. But I'm close to two hours now. We got about, um, I remember I was in Zion's live last night and mukbang and things, so we should stay about five minutes after. So we got about 11 more minutes to go. Um, all right, so let's just... Um, Drop some emojis. Let's do the emoji game for the next 11 minutes. Thank you for the thumbs up. I finally reached my goal of 30 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's do this emoji game for the last few minutes that we got left. Um... Let's drop some musical signs. Musical signs. 
Because we wish we had some music up in these YouTube streets. Um, Big B, it's, um, it's 9.51 here now. Hey, Maria, hey, I, I missed you while you came in because my laptop, um, is not, I don't know, it's unable to connect to chat, but I'm seeing on my phone. Oh, Crystal, you're still here. Thank you, Crystal. But only two emojis. Sorry, Crystal. All right, so Dining with Zion got that one. Um, let's drop some hearts, red hearts. Oh, Crystal, only two emojis. They're going to delete your comment. They're going to delete your comment. Two, only two. That's my cousin. She don't know nothing about this YouTube streets. <laughs> eee. All right, Maria got that one. Um, let's drop the monkey. There's no monkeys in here, but let's drop some monkeys in the chat. <laughs> All right, there goes Zion with the monkey. Oh, yeah, Zion, you went for the full monkey, right? <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. All right, the next emoji is mm -mm. crying face emoji. We ain't crying over here. We're all happy people, but let's do the crying emoji. All right, you guys doing well. Zion, you, you took over from... um. Be the difference called enjoy. <laughs> no creative. We're not crying over here. Um, I had my first successful live. So let's do the smiley face emoji. All right, Zion, you on top of it. Um, I just hit 700 subscribers, family members, genuine connections. So let's drop that champagne bottle. Or oh, you lagging? <laughs> All right, creative. Creative with a champagne bottle. I think creative likes celebration. And we'll be celebrating creative. Creole soon. So that's good. Creative is in a celebration mood. You, you better pop that champagne soon on the live on Wednesday because by Wednesday I know uh, you'll be where you need to be. Yeah, the dancing lady. <laughs> um, Let's drop the mermaid. Thank you, Zion. And thank you, guys. Uh, it seems like I was um, taking forever to hit 700. But you know what? Once you um, stay positive and you, you know, you can't rush those numbers. You have to build genuine connections. And I feel like we have those genuine people. Um, up in here. All right, so we have Maria with the mermaid. Maria, where are you swimming to? Um, so another funny, as I seen Maria, Maria said I was um, on Zion's and all those other people's side. 
But if you haven't seen Maria's video with that coldest water bottle in the building that we're calling the coldest sippy cup in the building, you need to go check it out. <laughs> Maria, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go on the other side, but I feel like that was hilarious. <laughs> Zion, I think I'm definitely going to, have to do a reaction to that because I'm going to be cracking. <laughs> oh God! Oh, thank you, thank you, Shella. <laughs> Oh my. Oh yes, Maria, you know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna um we're gonna drop some yellow hearts. <laughs> Can you see Zion laughing? Zion, are you rolling on the floor right now? All right, here comes Zion with the yellow heart. Mm -hmm. Keely, you're still in the building. Thank you, Keely. Thank you all you guys for staying with me for this long two-hour live. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I start laughing, I I, I just sometimes I, I roll on the floor. Oh man. Uh, this is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Let's drop some Jamaica flag for the host. If you can find it. Because I know not every phone have those Jamaican flag. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming... Creative Creole don't have it on her phone, but here comes promo STK with that Jamaica flag. Oh, you found it, Creative. <laughs> and since I'm here in America, a lot of the people here are from America, live in America. So let's drop the American flag. Nobody can find the flag of America. <laughs> yeah. Creative, creative. I'm telling you, you are creative. All right, so I see creative say the word, and then I see promo STK with the flag, all right? <laughs> Um, what are we going to drop now? Let's drop, let's drop the camera. We all got to use a camera to film our videos. So let's drop a camera. Maria came in with a camera. Maria, I'm going to need you to send me a camera. Okay. Or maybe that sippy cup. I don't know. Hey, mukbang and thanks. Welcome. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Um, mukbang and things. You are not going to. Um, um, persuade me to stay for another hour because you just came in the building. Okay, you're not gonna do it. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm almost right there at the two hours and five minutes. <laughs> Yes, mukbang and things. You're going to have to catch the next live. <laughs> I was just telling um, Zion that you out in these YouTube streets at, um, at um, 3 a.m. in the morning on panel. You know, I'm an informer, although that's a bad thing. <laughs> 
go to the next hour. What am I going to talk about? Are we going to be dropping emojis for the next hour um, promo SDK? Oh, you slept. Well, you need you need that sleep. You know, we all need that sleep. What games are we going to play? I, 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 I never have games. I got 14 people in the house. It would be nice to hang for another hour, but... You are welcome, Mukbang. You deserve to be in blue. Name that Patwa saying. Mm. You know, sometimes I go blank when it comes to Patwa because I, I get so accustomed to talking English now. I get blank. But you know what? We we gonna we're gonna stay as we're gonna hang as long as we can. I told my mom I was getting off at 10, so she probably waiting for me to call her or she probably asleep already. I don't know. But um, is anybody live? We can all go over there and I can listen to them. Meanwhile, um, get those watch time in. Oh, my. Here we go. I, I, I love you guys for supporting and giving me the motivation. Hey, Chrissy Booge. Now I got to stay. Now I got to stay. Because here comes Chrissy Booge TV in the building. Oh, yes. Chrissy Booge, I was um, watching um, promo STK video today um, where you were there singing your song. Promo STK eating good in the neighborhood. I was I was cracking up because you were there acting like a Hollywood star. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, if you're just coming in, smash that thumbs up for me, please. You guys are awesome. 16 people in the house. Oh wow. No, Adrian got to stay a whole hour, a whole nother hour. I appreciate you guys for all the, the support. No, you didn't try. You did it. You did it. That was hilarious. I was cracking up. All right. Let's see if I can dig in my, um, my Patois lingo and we can um, get that game started. We need at least 40 mukbang. I think we do. So we're going to stay on for the next hour. We're going to try and hang. And um, we're going to get those 40 thumbs up and get those watch time. So um, let's do it. Good night, um, Veggie Pals. Good night. You see, um, the, the problem is that my laptop... The chat is unable to connect, so I'm watching these on my phone. So now I can't even go and say, all right, let me go look up a game to play. But we just kind of chat it up and just make it. You're welcome, Chrissy Bush. All right, 17 people in the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see what um, Jamaican word we can come up with. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. I'm telling you, sitting down here is so uncomfortable. I don't know how you guys sit on lives for that long. I need to get a comfortable chair. Um, so. You're about to lose. Uh, you're not going to lose, Zai. You're not going to lose. You're not going to lose. You're going to um, do a good job. All right, let's see. 
you see i tell you i've been speaking english for so long now i don't even know no um no more jamaican word <laughs> on a cushion all right i'm gonna have to get a cushion oh man um so if some if you guys watched my video with the I know, I think creative was there. So she probably got to get this right. Um, what is another name that we call turkey neck in Jamaica? What is another name we call turkey neck in Jamaica? I said that in one of my videos. What is another name we call turkey neck in Jamaica? Hey, Coach Sherry, how are you? Welcome. I know, right, Zion? <laughs> hey, Cindy, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Carol. <laughs> no, that's not it, Keely. Can anyone knows? I think creative probably forget. Since the last that we talked about, what is another name we call Turkey Neck in Jamaica? Oh yeah, we're we're happy to have you here, um, Coach Sherry and everybody else here in the chat. You looking for Island Girl? She already left. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tell you. So in Jamaica, because oxtail is expensive and Turkey Neck is less expensive. They call it ghetto oxtail, ghetto oxtail, okay? So that's why they call turkey neck in Jamaica, ghetto oxtail. So I'm just going to teach you alternative words for different things that they call in Jamaica, all right? The next one is, can anyone guess if you watch my corn beef and cabbage video you would know um this one what do they call what's another name for corn beef in jamaica the one in the can what's another name for corn beef hey k confections how are you welcome if you haven't thumbs up the live please thumbs up the live for me what's another name they call corn beef the one in the can Get to have no creative. <laughs> now there, Chrissy Bouge came in with it. She's from Trinidad, so she knows. Bully beef. They call it bully beef. Coach Sherry, you got it too. Bully beef. Yeah, bully something. Bully beef. Mm-hmm. No, you guys, you guys are doing good. I'm surprised that you guys um, figure that out. But yeah, bully beef. Um, so I said this earlier in my life. If you were here, you would hear. What did I say my sister call chicken foot? Another name my sister used for chicken foot. What is another name for chicken foot? No one? <laughs> oh my <coughs> mukbang and things why why are you doing this to me tonight oh <laughs> ah! you guys letting me act in a fool up in here <laughs> Ah, uh, the creative crew got that steppers, yes. But I'll <laughs> good foot. 
<laughs> and Claw Daddy. Oh wow. Uh. <laughs> no, I can't stop laughing. Claw Daddy and <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh wow. You all are just cracking me up. Most bad things. You just came in and you just you just uh kicked the door in and came in with that laugh. Oh wow. Good foot. Oh. No, I no I can't focus anymore. <laughs> Oh my! Uh, thank you, thank you, Big B. Oh, <laughs> you sure did mukbang and things. Go kick the door in with the good foot. Oh wow! I'm telling you, you guys, are, you guys are just the best. All right, let let let's get back on track. Mm. <laughs> she sure. <laughs> oh, she sure did, uh, Maria. Oh wow! Uh, focus, Adrian. Um, mm, 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 mm. let's do this one. Um, I don't, I don't think anybody gonna get this one. But what's another name that they call mackerel? Mackerel that's in the can. Mackerel that's in a can. No, no mukbang. I'm, I'm happy that you're here. You're um motivated me. Everybody here is motivating me, but. That was a good laugh. I'm glad you came in and um, you all just um, getting me motivated to stay out for our next hour. So the laugh is good. Makes the time go by. Um, and they say, like they say, when music hits, you feel no pain. Laughing is good for the soul. They say when you laugh and you smile a lot, you stay younger. So I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. I just wanted to stop by and say hi to everyone. I have to hit the clock now. All right, you have a um a good night, K Confection. All right, macaroni, croquette, no sound. Cheap caviar. Cheap caviar. Okay, sound is back. Um, all right, so I'm gonna tell you. Tin boom. Tin boom. <laughs> so it's called tin boom. Yes, tin boom mukbang. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, um, Coach Sherry, because, yeah, in Jamaica, they don't say can, they say tin. Everything they call tin. Um, yep. Who can hear me? I can hear Creole. If I need to leave or come back in. Tin boom. Yeah, it's tin boom. Okay. All right. I can hear. Yes, creative. I think this... I don't know. My chat on the laptop um, says unable to connect to chat, so I'm doing it on my phone. All right. Thank you, guys, who can hear. Um, but, yeah, you all giving me a good laugh tonight. Normally, I would be laying down, doing nothing, because there's nothing come on on TV that I watch on the weekends. So maybe I'll start going live on Saturdays if I can hang. Mm. All right, so let's go to a Jamaican saying. Some people weren't here earlier, so we're going to do this one again. <coughs> what does Wagwan mean? Wagwan. Wagwan chat. Wagwan chat. Here comes mukbang and things. What's going on here? What's going on? Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm telling you, Mukbang, you came in with the heat. And in this call, we need the heat. How are you? Yeah, yeah. what's going on, Wagwan? How are you? Um, yeah, you guys are on it tonight. Thank you, Creative. Oh, Shell's Homestyle taught you that one. Yeah. Hey, love your crowns. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live. If you didn't thumbs it up, please thumbs it up for me. All right. Um... I think everybody um am going to get this one. So, what does this mean? Look, ya so. Look, ya so. Look, ya so. I'll use the sentence. Look, ya so. Look, ya so. Yo, see a bottle of water. Look, ya so. You see a bottle of water. So what does look ya so mean? Uh, you, you did good, Zion. Um, look here. Mukbang and things got it right. Look ya so. Look ya so. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Look over there. Th those are all correct. Look ya so. All right. So this is very similar to look over deso. Look over deso. What does look over the so mean? Look over the so. Look over the so. Yes, Zion, look over there, yeah? Look over the so. Look over the so. So you would say, look over there, say you see one bottle of water. Um, yeah, look over there. <coughs> Can anybody um give me an another word um for hmm. I think they say this in America too. I'm not sure. All right, so this one is interesting because in America, they call um, the front of the car that you lift a hood. What do you think they call that in Jamaica? What do you think, what's another name? What's the Patwa word for the hood of a car? Oh, thank you, Lisa. What's the Patwa word for the hood of a car? I'll give you um a hint. The um Smith Bunch make these. No, no, Chrissy, not not the bumper. Yes, Coach Sherry, bonnet. Yeah, that's what they call it, bonnet. So it's like when I came to America, and I'm like, um, look, um, the ban the bonnet of the car, and everybody was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and so I tell people, I'm like, in Jamaica, uh, we have different words for everything. So it's kind of hard for a lot of Jamaicans to, um, you know, interact with other people if they haven't done it in a while. Yeah, so it's called the bonnet. Um, anybody knows the national fruit of Jamaica? I said this earlier in the live, if you were here. The national fruit of Jamaica.
the national fruit of Jamaica. All right, here we are. Now, you guys are doing so good. Aki, Aki, Aki. Yes, Creative. Yes, Coach Cherry. Yes, Mukbag. Yes, Cindy. Aki. So, Aki is the national fruit of Jamaica. And then, what's the national dish of Jamaica? So, you have the fruit. The fruit is a part of the national dish. So, what's the national dish of Jamaica? No, Chrissy, not breadfruit. Oh, yeah, breadfruit is good, but it's not breadfruit. What's the national? <laughs> yes, Coach Sherry Ice, uh, made with codfish. And the Creative Creole got, got it, Aki and Sawfish. No mukbang. Um, the Aki, um, you the Aki itself is um vegan vegetarian because it's fruit. Um, if you boil it with garlic, it tastes like ackee and saltfish uh, without the saltfish. So yeah, it's ackee and saltfish. Oxtail and cabbage. <laughs> uh, we do eat a lot of cabbage in Jamaica, um, Chrissy. So yeah, that could be it, but that's not it. <laughs> yeah, because in Jamaica, they eat a lot of cabbage. Cabbage and saltfish. And all those stuff were like at breakfast time or dinner. So, yeah. Coach Sherry, we're making you hungry. It's 10.23 here. I filmed a video earlier around 4.30. And I ate a whole pizza and stuff so i'm 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 good i'm not hungry um i probably eat like a few biscuits earlier later before it hits midnight but i'm not hungry i'm sorry i'm making you hungry now where do you get that jerk chicken patty from because i i've had jerk chicken patty and it doesn't taste good if it's the golden crust, I don't like it. I'm telling you guys, you guys are standing in here with me like soldiers, and I appreciate it. All right, let's get back to... Um... Oh, no, I don't like golden crust. Um... I said this earlier, I have a, a grocery haul vlog coming that I'll show you um, the beef patty that I like. But they only make them in beefy cheese and beef, spicy and mild. <coughs> oh, yes, Chrissy, we're going to get your skills brushed up. Um, so another thing that... <laughs> There's, um, you know, where they have the coconut. Uh, you know, coconut comes in another shell separate from the coconut that you actually see in the store. So it grows on a tree and it comes in like a green shell. Once they dry, they become brown. So um, the, the outside, they'll cut the top off and use it to make what they call a coconut brush. So back in the day in Jamaica, um, they would have what they call a red floor. So when you go to the, um, your grandparents' house, they would have red floor, uh, which is stained. So they would have a red floor, and they would use that coconut brush, go down on their knee, and use that coconut brush to shine the floor. So if you have like hair that's really rolled up and bad textured here, they would say that you hear rough like coconut brush because that brush is like so um rough that you use it to um shine the floor but those old people that had those red floor and they go down on their knees and use that wax polish polish and stuff and um shine the floor if you go in their house you would literally slide so you got to take your time but um those were the good old days Thank you, Zion.
Oh, yeah. They're not bad. Thank you, Keely. I appreciate it. But yeah, so my my dad's mom, she used to have those red floor. And when I go to her house, I see you, Carter Zietz. I, I appreciate you for hanging in there with me because I know you probably have an early morning tomorrow. We know mukbang and things stay up all night. So, you know, she can hang. Yes, Chrissy, that's so true. That's why um, all these people, all these black women um, process their hair or they wear wigs or um, extensions. <laughs> no, Chrissy, don't come in here and crap me up no more. Mukbang, I've done it all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bad texture here. Don't let these black women them <laughs> I, I I know promo. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man. You guys are just like the best set of people I have. I have your you oh Lord. <coughs> Ooh. Let me run and get another bottle of water because you guys are cracking me up. All right, I'm back. Whew. All right, so oh yes, yeah, Sherry. Um, this is a good live. As I said, I have the most awesome set of um family members. Um, I thank you guys so much for coming. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Tana, you're back. Welcome back, Tana. But yes, Sherry, um, I see that you're um just starting out. As time goes by, um, you'll find those genuine, genuine connections, like all these wonderful people in here. Um, we can't stress this enough. Every live that you're going to, um, you're gonna hear people tell you that there's a lot of people on here who are all about the numbers. And they just go out there and they grab people and just to get a number. But, you know, all right, Lisa, um, thank you. So, as I said, um, these people that I have here are wonderful people, very supportive. Uh, we all support each other. Um, you know, numbers are good, but you don't need to rush to get those numbers you need to more focus on building genuine connections. And once you go live, these people will be here to support you. Because I was about to go at two hours and they said, oh, you need to stay another hour. And now I'm here and we're having a good time and we're enjoying each other's company. I get some good laugh and stuff. So, Oh, yes. Um, Promo STK. Love is what love does. But yeah, so I'm happy. I just hit 700. Uh, it seems like it was taking forever. I used to go on these growth streams and try to grow. And then I was like, you know what? Today they come, the next minute they leave. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sit and try to um, get those organic, genuine connections. So if it takes me five years to get another 300 family members to hit 1K, that's exactly what's going to happen. But I know it won't because I have um, wonderful people here who are going to um, make sure that I'm being supported and they're going to hold me hold me down. So, yeah. Extra Step CEO, welcome, welcome. I didn't see you coming. Um, thank you, Maria, for pointing that out. Oh, yes, Chrissy, um, you need to go live soon. I know you have an hectic um, schedule and all those stuff, but you need to go live. And I'm, 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 I'm definitely going to be um, 
linking up with um, Zion and mukbang and things because they always have some good topics and I want to join in in the conversation. So we're going to be doing something soon. Thank you, Coach Sherry. I, um, I try. Hey, all things re. Welcome. Extra Step CEO. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. If you have a thumbs up the live, please thumbs up the live for me. I appreciate it. Um, so the next one is, so before, um, I start with this, I have a friend who can never say orange. She said orange and we always laugh at her and we are like, oh, you posted a video tonight, Chrissy. All right. Once I get off the live, I'm going to go over there and check it out. But I tell you, you need to start doing more cooking videos because that mac and cheese video was so good. All right, so. Mm. I'm going to spell this one for you and I'm going to see if you know what this means. In Jamaica, W A T A, W A T A. Can you write in the chat what's the English for that? W A T A. W A T A. Let me write it in here. What's the um? What's the English for that? W A T A. If I say it, then you're going to know what it is. <coughs> w A T A. <laughs> yes, it's water. It is water. <laughs> I didn't want to give it away too soon before everybody else coming with it. But yeah, it's water. And I gave it away because I drank some. But in Jamaica, we say water. Water. And they have a saying in Jamaica. They say, when rain is falling heavily, they say water more than flour. So, you know, when you mix in that flour... And you put too much water in there and it become a hot mess. They say water more than flow in a Jamaica when the rain is falling. Or they say the rain falling cats and dogs. Because there's a lot of stray animals in Jamaica too. So I'm telling you, they always have sayings in Jamaica. Which is crazy. Yes, Big B, thank you for staying with me. Um, I always try to share a little bit of the Jamaican culture with, um, everybody. All right. So let's go to the next one. Who offered you a Starbucks gift card? Um, Chrissy, who me? Did I do that? Hey, Melda242, welcome to the chat. If you didn't thumbs the live up, please thumbs the live up for me. Carter Zeets, I'm telling you, you really hanging in here tonight. I'm surprised that you hang this long. I'm telling you, you are, I don't know, but you hanging in there. You won one? I don't, I don't drink Starbucks, so I, I would never opt for a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> Thank you, Melda. Um, I don't drink coffee, but as you know, the best coffee in the whole world is the Blue Mountain Peak Coffee all the way from Jamaica. I've been to Starbucks probably two times since I've been in America for the last seven years. 
But I don't drink coffee, so I don't have no need to go there. <coughs> I know they have other things other than coffee, but it's not for me. Now, Coach Sherry, you know what's going on. <laughs> hey, Mr. P. Era, how are you? Welcome, welcome to the live. If you have a thumbs it up, please thumbs it up for me. We trying to get to 40. We're at 38 because Miss Mukbang and things came in and said uh, we need to get it at 40. So I guess we're going to stay here as long as um, before it hits 40. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Wow. 19 people in here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, Re, you drink Blue Mountain almost. It is an expensive coffee, though. Very, very expensive. <laughs> well, I don't. I think most people who, are, who have been here already thumbs up the live. So 50 is a stretch because we're at 2 hours and 41 minutes. But, you know, anything can happen. Oh, oh, now I understand. Now I understand. Um, if you, the job is paying for it, why not? Uh, we have Cook and Comedy on live right now. I'm going to stay here until the three hours. If we're still here, if they're still on, by then we're going to go ahead and raid them. But we still got another probably 23 minutes here. So I don't know how long they're going to stay on. But I'm glad that they were in the live and um, they got the courage to go on live too. So that's a good thing. I'm glad that I came on tonight. Yeah, we'll drop their link um, once we hit that three-hour mark, um, Chrissy. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to see other people succeed. You have a lot of people out there who are not happy for um other people but as you know everybody in this chat right here celebrate each other's success oh wow we're at 41 thumbs up so i, I think we might probably can hit that 50 shella creation wow see this is what i'm talking about shella jump from that channel to the next channel so if you haven't connected to um, Shella's um, promo STK um, second channel of three channels that she have, then go ahead and do that for me, please. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, guys. Oh yes, Mr. Pete Era, we we definitely um, believe it. Uh, we can happen. It can happen. Yes, Coach Sherry. There's definitely room for everybody. There's a space at the table for everyone. Yep. Thank you, Shella. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, mukbang and things. We have 18 awesome channels in here. And um I'm still I'm still at awe. I'm still at shock that I managed to capture 19, 18, the lowest nine people in the chat for a whole almost three hours so i guess i'm doing something right i just got to give myself a little bit more credit well thank you mukbang <coughs> i just need to get rid of this cough because it's just taking away from my whole experience and you guys experience <laughs> Thank you, Re. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so it's like I think being in um food and beverage has definitely helped me to um multitask and do things differently. Um, as it relates to like try to see different things and so on, because you know. <coughs> In food and beverage, when you get busy and you have a whole bunch of people in the restaurant, you got to um, glance over 
and make sure that you're connecting to everybody because even though there is so many people in the house, in a restaurant, everybody want to feel like they're the only person there, you know? And the, the thing that, yes, um, Mr. P era, definitely. Um, a lot of people, I, I was working with this girl and she would walk over the table and she would say, oh, um, you know, I've been so busy taking care of my other customer. That's why I'm just getting to you. I'm like, who the hell tells their customer that they were taking, they don't care about the other customer. <laughs> See, this is my mom calling. <laughs> Sorry, let me take this. I'm still on the live. I'll be here until like 11. So love you and we'll talk tomorrow. All right. Yeah, you're going to your bed. All right. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I told you guys that she um, was expecting me to call her at 10. So there she calling me. Oh, thank you, Mukbang. I mean, I'm learning from you guys because I'm always over there in you guys live and you guys always, um, I'm like, you know, that's the thing about me is that when I go somewhere, I always try to pick up things from people. Just like when I was in food and beverage, how I get to be good at what I do is that welcome Agnes family. If you have a thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. Um, what I try to do is that I try to pick up something from everybody because people in Jamaica will always tell you that you can learn something from even the baby. And a lot of people say learn from a baby, but yeah, you can learn from everybody. But what you got to do is that you got to make sure that you pick up the good things. So everybody does something differently. You have somebody, you go somewhere and they have a warming personality and you're like, all right, you know what? That person's personality is warm. They exude confidence and all those great things that you can learn something from them. Meanwhile, you have somebody who um, there and they will have that stern personality, but they're stern, but they're still friendly and approachable. And you learn something from those people. But one thing that always stuck with me is that um, when... Whew, I lost the thought. Let's see what the chat is saying. Oh, yes. Um, definitely Mr. P era. That, that's the part that I hate. I would never work in the kitchen for someone else's business. I used to cook in my own restaurant, uh, which was fine by me because I make my own rules. But if I had to cook for somebody else, I would definitely not be doing that because... Mm -mm. Especially at the resort that I used to work, um, those chefs were horrible. They talked to those people anyhow they want to talk. And it was crazy. I was like, no, no matter the amount of money you're paying me, I wouldn't work for you. <laughs> That's so true creative. You definitely catch more um, flies with honey. You can catch them with water too because they'll drown. But I'll tell you, I, I, I'm I so glad that I went live tonight because you guys kept me um, motivated. You guys kept me laughing. Um, so I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys for being here with me, being here for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I see everybody connecting in the chat. Oh yeah, Mr. P era. That's definitely, um, food and beverage can get very tiring. It's definitely something that you don't want to be doing for a lifelong, but I feel like I still have probably a year or two left in me in food and beverage. So, um, I'll, since I closed the restaurant, I haven't been, doing much of anything because working two years in a restaurant is like working five years 
because I used to do literally everything in that business. I used to do dishes. I used to cook. I used to serve. I used to do literally everything. So, um, Agnes family, you can't say I showed you love. Just put a heart and it's only two emojis. Can you retract that for me, please? But yeah, so I think I still have a little bit more time left in the food and beverage industry. Because if you if you work hard and you um, do it the right way, um, you can definitely make a good amount of money in food and beverage if you are at the right place. Oh, yes. Yes, Pete Era. Um, I feel like a lot of people will find jobs that they say um, it's beneath them. But I, I always tell myself this. I said, if I have a job that pays me well um, and the environment is not that great, I'll accept that because I'm making good money. But if I have a job that ain't paying me right and the environment ain't healthy, I'm gone, you know? So I, 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 I they always say you can't have both in life. But when I always tell people, Agnes family, Agnes family, you can't say I showed you love. Just put a heart. Um, yeah, smelling like food. <laughs> I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Smelling like food is like, whew. That's why I'm like, when I had my restaurant, every, I live close to where the restaurant was at. So every time when I go down and cook, I have to um, go home and take a shower before I go back for the day because I was like, no, I can't be smelling like food all day. That's that's true. That's true. Um, we can always improve on ourselves for sure. Yep. So um, you guys are awesome. We have about 13 more minutes left in the live and then we'll eat, hit three hours of doing this for the first live and you guys stuck in there with me for three hours i appreciate it um if cooking comedy is still on we're gonna go over there and raid them and show them some love so let's just um for the next 13 minutes we're gonna go back to this emoji game meanwhile you guys connect um, just make sure that you're using only two emojis. Don't say show you love, done, return, all those stuff. Um, uh, all things re, can you retract that um, comment, please? You can't use the word subs in the chat. I know you're, and numbers, you got to write your numbers in words. But you can go live on your laptop. Or um, there's third-party sites that you can use, like Streamlabs and all those stuff. Thank you, thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Coach Sherry. Yeah, Cook and Comedy. Um, I just met them over at Promo STK. They have great content. Um, they seem to have great personality. Um, thank you, Cindy. Oh, Big B. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you stuck here with me for almost three hours now. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Mukbang and things um, ask a really good question. <coughs> How is your daughter, Chrissy? But guys, uh, once we hit that three hours, uh, if Cook and Comedy is still on, we want to all go over there and read them and show them some love. So um, we're almost there. We're going to do that um, emoji game for the next few minutes. Mukbang and things is in here, so I know she's gonna um kill this. Well, you know what I mean. She's gonna haste it. Thank you, Coach Cherry. You have a wonderful night, and thank you for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. All right, so for the emoji game, we are gonna drop. Some fire, the fire emoji for the first live, which was lit. 
Yeah, we're at 42 thumbs up. If you have been in the building and you haven't thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. So the first person to drop that was Cindy, then Mukbang and Things. Thank you, Big B. I have truly, truly appreciate it. Um, so we dropped the fire emoji. Um Let's drop the thumbs up emoji so that we can get to 50 thumbs up. Thumbs up emoji. Oh, Cindy, you're on top of it tonight, Cindy. <laughs> I'm telling you, so creative. You are creative. I can bet Cindy is creative too. Thank you, Carter's Eats. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you for hanging in there with me all this time. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. You know, I'm always going to be over there coming to see you. You're faster than <laughs> You know what? I'm not going to start any trouble tonight. I'm known to be a troublemaker. Well, not really. I'm just kidding. All right, let's drop the. So I, I remember in Zion's live last night, a lot of people had um, problem dropping this emoji. So I'm going to do it tonight. Drop the police car emoji, the police car emoji. The police car emoji. <laughs> <laughs> now I see two different cars I'll take both of them so good job creative and mukbang all things re Maria Maria I'm still thinking about that sippy cup I think um, daddy with Zion's son is waiting on that sippy cup okay Maria <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Oh man. She said I'm done. Uh uh thank you Agnes family. <laughs> uh let's drop a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> a pair of sunglasses for all the shade or should we drop the palm tree we're gonna do the palm tree after this no Zion I didn't say the sunglasses on the face I said sunglasses thank you Cindy <laughs> creative drop the palm tree so we ain't gonna do that anymore <laughs> Oh my. You guys are the best. All right, let's drop some yellow hearts. Well, only two or one yellow hearts. I see you promo. I see you. I'm going to definitely connect to your all your two um other channels. I think I already have two of them, so I'll definitely get this one. Let me get it meanwhile I'm here. All right, I got you. Yellow hearts. I love it. Adrian Rastaman, don't deal with Babylon. <laughs> All right, so you, you just gave me an idea, um, Chrissy Bouge, the celebrity from Hollywood. I see you. All right, so we, uh, Chrissy Bouge wants us to create the Rastafarian color. So let's drop some red hearts. Because we are going to create that Rastafarian color. And I think if everybody knows the colors of the Rastafarian, 
Um, you'll know what other color is coming next. Thank you, Proma. Thank you. All right, so we see Tanner Woods came in with that red heart. All right, so the last color for the rest of Fairyant. There we go. Hey, creative. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, you guys, I'm telling you, I, I'm having so much fun. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. No, you guys are just amazing. <laughs> wow. So we just hit three hours. We're going to go over five minutes because that's what Mukbang and Things said we should do. So we'll keep playing this game for another five minutes. And then we're going to go over to Cook and Comedy. Um, let's drop the umbrella emoji. Umbrella emoji. Umbrella. Okay, Maria, I see you're ready for the beach. You ready for the beach? Yeah, I think we need to get rid of the snow, get over there on the sunny beaches, and just have a good time. <laughs> Hey, Tam's Table. Welcome, Tam's Table. Congratulations on your um, 3K. Um, Tam's Table has a new challenge out called Get Dressed in the Dark. You got to get a hot dog, and you need at least four toppings, and you got to use a stopwatch to... Um, to do the challenge. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check out Tam's Tables Get Dressed in the Dark Challenge. You got to do it blindfolded. Oh, Shella, you're on top of these challenges. I saw your challenge today, um, 15 problems, but chicken ain't not one. That was good. I enjoyed it. Wow. So we got 17 people in the house. We have about three more minutes left in this live. And then we are going to go over to cook and comedy. Let me see if they're still live. And I'll, um, I'll see. Or probably they already um, went off. Let's see. All right, so cooking comedy is still on. We got another two minutes. So um, before we finish, all right, so we are in the spirit of congratulations. Let's drop that champagne bottle. Champagne bottle in the building. Ooh. All right, Maria, you got that. Um, still the spirit of celebration. Let's drop the balloon. Let's drop the balloon. No, Maria ain't sleeping tonight. Maria, you didn't caught me on your way to bed, so you're on top of the game. Look at Maria. Oh, wow. Maria, I think I need to get me one of those sippy cups because it has superpowers. We still, we, uh, Maria, we're still waiting on the, the code for the coldest sippy cup in the building, Maria. Ah. All right, so this is going to be our final. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's drop. 
let's drop a sunshine, the sun emoji. We need some sun, so let's drop that sun emoji. There goes mukbang and thanks. So guys, um, can one of my wonderful moderators um, drop the link for Coke and Comedy um, live stream? And we all go over there and kick the door in. Thank you, Big B. All right, so guys, um, let's click that link that mukbang and things dropped. And let's go over to Coke and Comedy. I know, I know Tam's table. I, I'm going to have to um, get some of those festival um, together. Uh, we still got 13 people in here. Let's go over to Cook and Comedy and comment Adrian Raid. And let's kick the door in. Please, please, please. I love you guys for doing that. Let's go over to Cook and Comedy and show them some love. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this live. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you, Mukbang and Things, for coming in late and motivated me to stay on. Thank you for all the wonderful people who have stayed here with me. Uh, we still have 11 people in the house. Let's go over to Cook and Comedy. Cook and Comedy. The links are being dropped. Thank you, Mukbang and Things. I try my best. We still have 11 people in. Let's go over to Cook and Comedy. Let's show them some love. All right, guys, I'm going to end, end the live stream and I'm going to head over to Cook and Comedy. So I'll see you guys there. Love you all and have a good night.